We start out today by walking to the Mexico City Metropolitan Cathedral, which you see here, and we're also going to see the Aztec Temple ruins. Good morning, Mexico City. Runners everywhere. And here comes our group. We're on our way to the Metropolitan Cathedral. There are people stopping for breakfast along the way. Buenos dias. Oh, even the police. The Mexican flag. We've just arrived at the Mexico City Metropolitan Cathedral. <laughs> Some of the gods from the past are given these blessings from the gods of the past. This was built over what was originally here, the cathedral, because Christianity is superior to paganism. And here, is part of that original Aztec temple that they discovered recently. This is part of the temple. 84,000 human beings sacrificed to inaugurate this temple in four days. Aztec, you saw the model there? This is part of that Aztec temple. It was probably a lot like what we saw yesterday when we were climbing the pyramids and so on, a big complex. Why do you think they built the church over top of it? both because they use the stones and everything, but also it's a symbol that Christianity conquers paganism. Whenever you allow it to, Christianity will always be superior. It'll always bring the real truth and a real respect for human dignity and human life. But what happened here was they had sacrifices that were un unbelievable with the Aztecs. They had 38 major cities, and each one of those had to offer 1,000 people a year for, that, for the gods. When they inaugurated the temple here, the big one that we saw there in the model, the Aztecs wrote that they had sacrificed 84,400, I think, 82,400, something, that a number of human beings in four days. And your blood would be there to feed the God in heaven, the drinker, of God, the lover of hearts and the drinker of blood. So when the first Catholics came here, they said, you don't need to kill people like that and shed the blood because the blood has already been shed. It's already been done by the God man who came and his is an eternal sacrifice. Therefore, it's big enough and good enough to cover all of you. You don't have to do this anymore. And it made a possibility for them to see that they didn't need that because a human had already come and died, but he was God too. He had come, the flesh God had come among us in a much more spectacular way than what they were doing by just putting face masks on and dressing them up like gods. And so now you see them drinking blood and eating body parts. And guess what? In this, it's, I know it sounds macabre, but what are we going to do in a half an hour? We are, going to have, we are going to eat the flesh and drink the blood of the God man who came down and on an altar sacrificed himself and shed his blood. Huge Mexico City. Metropolitan Cathedral, the largest, oldest, and most important in all of Latin America. And we're heading right over here to a side chapel for Mass.
to reflect on all of those three comings. Let us use this holy season to build up and deepen and strengthen our sense of hope. And in the darkness of our world, today, 2018, to be that people that radiate and that shine. Because we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what happens, no matter what sorrow we might have in our lives at the moment, we have always a great hope for the coming of Christ. I think there were the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the words of the Alleluia verse are a beautiful moment for us to reflect. Show us, Lord, your love. Grant us your salvation. And the Lord is saying, yes, here it is for you. Celebrate it. Make it your own. Imbibe it. Make it a part of who you are. My love, my salvation, Amen. We've arrived for lunch and we're having lunch right up there and guess what we're looking out at the cathedral well here we are for lunch and we're up on the third floor balcony looking out over the city square where we just saw the Aztec dancers and even more beautiful there is the cathedral so we have the cathedral right in our view while we eat this wonderful Mexican dinner for lunch. We just finished our lunch and we're walking back around the cathedral and lining the streets are all of these vendors sitting on the ground here with their wares. Very beautiful and nice kids. Mexicans are very polite and kind, considerate. Hola, buenos dias. Since we weren't able to get into the actual cathedral, only side chapels, we've come back and we're now going to walk in and take a look at the main cathedral.
everybody had an hour or two free to explore this Mexico City or go back to the hotel and rest up. We were going to go to the Opera House to discuss the painting Man, the Controller of the Universe by Diego Rivera, an atheist and Marxist. But it was so full of people today, we decided to postpone it until Tuesday. Here it is now. And we'll go back Tuesday to discuss the painting. And here's a taxi. But uh, it's a nice afternoon, great temperatures. And look at the people in the streets. The streets are just packed with families and people out walking around, even clowns. And when Janet and I came back to the Hilton to rest up and get ready for the rest of the day. We're on our way to the marketplace and to Miguel Pro. Puerto Cuatro. We are now diving into the whole city block Mercado Marketplace. And they have everything you could imagine in here. So we're dropping everybody off. We're going in for an hour to go through the Mercado. Look at that. This is, we're just stepping in. It's a whole city block big. Incredible place. Sunday afternoon in the park. This is a church that houses the bones of blessed Miguel Pro, who died as a hero during the Cristeros Wars. Parish of the Holy Family and the Word Incarnate. That is blessed Miguel Pro, who was killed during the Cristeros War. He was shot by the president of Mexico. And these are his relics. This is where he is, relics. And these are the pictures that are very famous of him. When he held out his arms like the shape of a cross, and then they shot him. He prayed first. And I'll show you another picture in just a moment. But he held out his arms and said, Viva Cristo Rey, Christ the King. Long live Christ the King. Then we go back to the bus and back to the hotel and everybody has the rest of the evening free. It's been a great day.